What is up? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can host a static website for free using GitHub. Here you can see I have a very simple HTML website with some CSS and some JavaScript. Um, I named it my portfolio. Um, let's say that you have a portfolio that you want to show people or some information. Um, and then I have here a button then you click and this open just to make sure that JavaScript is working. Um, it says contact me button clicked, not a big deal. I have a navigation here, contact me, it goes to another page with other information. Very simple, I just created this page just to show you how you can actually host it for free. So first thing you need to do is create a GitHub page. Here is my page, all my repositories, and we are gonna use GitHub Desktop. And GitHub Desktop is an app you know, just an application that you can download and open on your computer. That way you can upload all, your, all the files and push all the files to GitHub without having to like write some stuff in the terminal because that's um, a good way to do it in the terminal. But a lot of people are scared when they are starting. So do those two things. GitHub account if you don't have one and download the GitHub desktop. Both links are in the description of the video. So I have already this page. Let's go ahead and open GitHub desktop and it's going to be just right here. And you're going to see something like this, um, the list of repositories and you're going to have some options like create a tutorial repository, clone one from the internet, create a new one from the hard drive or add an assistant from the hard drive. So because we already have this page, I'm going to just going to add an assistant repository. Now, we don't have a repository yet, so you will see what options we have. So I click there, I'm going to click shoes. I'm going to look for my portfolio websites right here. And you can see I have um, index, index HTML, contact HTML, main JS and CSS. All right, I'm going to click open. And it's going to say this directory does not appear to be a Git repository. Would you like to create one? Yes. I'm going to click here and you can name it whatever you want. Let's, I'm going to keep it portfolio description. Um, this is my port portfolio, something like that. All right. I'm going to add a readme file because I'm going to use it. Git ignore file. I'm going to, um, Add a link in the description if you want to learn about, about Git Ignore if you don't know what it is. And I'm going to click Create Repository. Same thing with the license. All right, so this is what I have right now. Um, if I click History and you can see that all these files has been added. We have Git Attributes, a README file, the contact HTML index, index main.js and CSS. All right. So all I have to do now is publish repository. All right. And now it's going to ask you, okay, so now this repository, this is the name, this is the description. You want to um, keep it private? No, I don't want to keep it private. I want everyone to see this um, organization. If you have like multiple companies that you work for and you have different organizations there, I'm going to keep it none. It's going to be github.com here. And I'm going to click publish repository. All right. So now I'm going to go back to GitHub right here. I'm going to reload this page. And here it is. My new repository name portfolio description. This is my portfolio. I'm going to click there. And you can see all your files are there. OK, looks good. But now I want everyone to see this page online. So I'm going to go to the settings here. I'm going to scroll a little bit. And you will see this section here, GitHub pages. So right now you can see source is none. I'm going to change it. I'm going to put the master branch. All right, the page just reloaded. I'm going to scroll again. Here you go. Now it says your site is ready to be published at this right here. And there's a URL. 
but you have a couple options here. Um, you, you can choose a theme, a custom domain, which is I think is good if you want a custom domain. It doesn't have to be whatever they give you here, which is your GitHub slash and the repository name, which right now mine is brickbones.github.io slash portfolio. So I'm going to click there. And here it is. Let's make sure everything works. So I'm going to click contact, contact me. All right, go back to home. Let me click this button. The contact button clicked. And there you go. It's that simple. Now I can send this URL to people. This can be uh, my portfolio. It can be maybe some documentation for an app that you're creating. It can be a lot of things and is there available for you for free. That's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.